Hello there, welcome to the unprofessional unboxing of Groomed by You from the Almondbury Dog Father. I'm having a nice quiet day, so I thought I'd do the unboxing. No, I had a peek. Well, I'd say I had a peek. <laughs> I tried to do an unboxing video yesterday, but the sound didn't quite take, and I'm gonna have to do this really quick because I've only got seven minutes saved. seen shadows past me blind. So, um, I was really ill when I got my uh, first box and uh, so I didn't get to do an unboxing video but I did save some of the stuff from last time. So what I got last time was this Millie's Cherry Shampoo which I've been using, it smells really nice but it, it does tend to crystallise on the top which is weird. The straight scissors which are absolutely fantastic in a nice blue colour. I don't know if everybody's is blue, it's just me. I can't remember if I was allowed to pick a colour. The Sassy Bitch Comb, which I... <laughs> Colin Taylor, bless you for calling it Sassy Bitch. And, um... The... Nail Farm. Which I haven't used. Not even on myself. But I might do eventually, maybe practice on a dog that's more tolerant of having the nails done. I also had the um, Pro Pooch ear cleaner, but I've given that to my boss for a penny because she has the grossest ears in all of Huddersfield. I, I dare somebody to bring a dog with, it, with worse ears. She gets the nastiest waxy build-up. So, this month's came to me yesterday. <gasps> Yay. So excited. Um, <laughs> I was explaining to my mum how it works and she looked in the box and went, it's not more than 50 quid. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I managed to find, well, just is open. I don't know if the detangling sprays are in here. I did find one of the other products in here though. I don't know how much things are worth off the top of my head. I don't know where detangling sprays would be. Tropics, fresh, fresh. I do know Pro Pooch is one of them kind of like top brands. I doubt it's cheap. Anyway, we'll find out. So, as I said, we've got the Pro Pooch detangling spray, which I have not had a sniff. I don't know if it's meant to smell nice. How do you work? It doesn't really smell like anything, she says. Cow. She says, I don't think it's going to smell or anything. It doesn't, it doesn't smell weird or rank or anything that might upset the dog, so that's good. And, um, I'm going to start using that. I've never used a detangling spray. I've always, I've been using um, the cornstarch recently, which works wonders. Um, what else have we got? We saved my favourite stuff for last. We've got the undercoat rake. And I did just find these in the Christie's catalogue. It's really nice. I'm not sure what blade width it is. It might be an 8 or a 6. And wow, those, those are pushing just short of 25 quid. 21.95, 22.50. One's actually 25.95. That's not cheap. So that is, you know, it's a nice firm wooden handle. We've got the plastic ones at about 15 to 20 pounds. We've got one of them, so I'm, I'm going to start using this. Let's see if it's much better quality. I don't know who I'm going to use it on first, but it is that quite, looks like better quality. Not that I'm dissing the um, group professionals, I do use a lot of group professional stuff, but that, that is just nice. These are the, I think these are the Mars King Coat Ricks, so next time I get a collie in or something, that'll be good. Uh, got more scissors, I love scissors. People complain about getting scissors because they've already got scissors, but you know what, it's nice to have a backup when you send yours off. Sharpening. So these are the bull nose scissors, and I don't know what this. I think this is a tension thing. It's just, ooh, that's nice. I've been at this five minutes already. And um, those just feel really nice. Again, in blue. So I'm assuming 
because of the colour I picked. I'm not sure. So those are really nice. And everything, if you've not got a Groomed Bayou, is all engraved with Groomed Bayou on it. So you know it's good quality stuff. And the case is a and nice. And um, I was reading and somebody said that these last pair of scissors are about 140 something quid. So not cheap. So thank you, Groomed Bayou. Um, <laughs> These, these two make me laugh. This one makes me laugh because I'm assuming it's for plucking something and it, it, it's just that. that that's, that's a lot of scissor mechanism just for that little bit. So that makes me laugh. I'm assuming that's for maybe ear plucking as well as this one, which I think is definitely for ear plucking. I know. <laughs> I've only been grooming professionally a year, so I can't get them open. So, um, excuse me, Grim Bayou, my product is faulty. <laughs> Don't worry about sending me that. Send me a voucher. Send me a voucher for something really fancy instead. I'm joking. I'm joking. It's not, not for anything fancy. Just either send me a replacement or... I don't know. I'm disgust. So yeah, I'm running out of time. I've literally got a minute. Um, we've got a selection of bows and ribbons and I'm saving that for Pride Day on a dog. I don't know which one, but I'm saving that for Pride Day. I love these. I was considering getting these myself from Christie's catalogue and now I don't have to. And last but not least, very, very quickly, because I'm running out of time, the scissor holder. And I'm pretty sure that's a business card holder as well, so. And then there's a back pocket for your company. That just smells delo that, that just smells really, really nice. <laughs> so yeah, this is a complete 10 out of 10. 5 out of 5, 20 out of 20. I've got a couple of seconds left. So this has been the Groom By You Unprofessional Unboxing with Pugwash Grooming at the Almond Bay Dog Father. And I'll see you next time.